people stop doing that. Whoever gained weight know the fuck that they gained weight. They don't need someone. I feel more embarrassed about talking about this than anything I talked about being postpartum. I didn't expect was the psychological warfare I go through just from being overweight. morning today is a new day and your girl is feeling productive but I'm a little down let's talk about it I literally just cut on my camera after shooting that last clip to basically tell on myself I must be getting hungry because I'm literally looking up fall recipes that are healthy because I'm hoping that everything that I am doing, and I'm going to get to the main point of this video soon. I hope that everything I'm doing now becomes a lifestyle change and not a weight loss fad. Because I've done several fads, even though I am juicing right now. I'm still trying to implement food into that whole process. But my thoughts and goals is to do this for a long term, at least six months, but ongoing for the most part. I want to still enjoy food. I still want to go to restaurants and feel like I can have a drink and have what I want, but I also want to change my taste buds and expand them. <sighs> I don't know, but I just wanted to tell on myself that I was basically looking for food on TikTok. How did TikTok, by the way, become, that looks pretty good as well, become the new YouTube? Because that was the reason why we went to YouTube. Because we wanted to get quick answers about the things that we want to see or know about. Or we want to watch people go through life on the same things that we're interested in. Uh, anywho, I kind of wanted to talk about people and social media and how mean they can be when it comes to people trying to better themselves. I was watching Jackie Hill. She was going through a process of, oh, Jack, I said Jackie, Jacqueline Hill. And she, like two years ago, was going through the process of trying to lose weight. And not just in her videos, but I see on YouTube and social media all the time. Every time someone's trying to do better with themselves, they one, become a doctor, think they know it all, tell people what they need to do. They're not taking health issues into consideration. They're not taking people's emotion into consideration. They're not even considering their goals. They just hear, lose weight, do this. And it's like, baby. Even though I'm new into this world, I do know the direction that you go to lose weight alters what you want your body to end up looking like. Like, what I would do to completely lose weight and be lean would be completely different from what I would do to recomp my body. Because one would still eat more and have more protein and maybe even carbs over not doing half of that. Here, you would do more cardio. In this one, you would do more weight training. And when people hear losing weight, losing fat, they automatically assume that you want to get lean. This is not what Jacqueline Hill's video was about. But it's, it's so frustrating to see people feel like they know it all. And half the people not even in shape themselves. Like, I will take that advice from someone who actually looks fit <laughs> is it's crazy because even if in her video she was saying that she was making a lifestyle change because of that that means hello people you are still going to live life similar to what you were living it before but just on a healthier scale that don't mean you never cheat that you never have that donut that you never have that drink alcohol it doesn't mean that that is not a way to live and if you want to live like that cool even for me why am i yelling even for me even in the process of losing weight i am starting off going hard going 
four to five times a week going two hours at a time trying to eat way better whatever but i'm gonna have to start having cheat days and still try to be in a deficit because i want to live my life <laughs> i want to have that pie if i want it and that's what i appreciate about jacqueline hill's video because i don't know how she ended up i don't really know i i'm still in the process of her journey two years ago but i appreciate her showing the dynamics of struggling wanting regular food but her also allow herself to live if she's going to a thanksgiving or an event or whatever she indulges not go crazy of course but it's just slow steps and i think social media and society has their mind wrapped around these fat diets where it's like lose quickly do this calm down people you can make a drastic change in eight months to a year versus really quickly and for me i want to meet in the middle of that i want to be the six month ballpark in six months i want to be fit fine and sexy i'm gonna keep telling myself that because that's what i want but i want to be careful about obsessing on getting there quickly so i have stopped weighing myself as much i think in this whole almost month process i weighed myself maybe two or three times but for me in my bmi i'm always going to be higher in the scale even when i was this hold on let me see if i can show you even here i was 145 here i was 145 i looked tiny here here's another one i was one around 130 i remember in this photo it's blurry but you can still tell in this photo i was like 130. my body isn't gonna look the same because my body isn't exactly the same as other people it's different it holds weight differently am i ever gonna be this no do i want to be this no absolutely not i love being a thick ups okay i want to have them them legs like venus and serena i want to have them stallions okay i don't want to be as lean that's not what i'm going for i want an athletic body so i'm going to be a little bit more solid 165 170 is is around my goal so i don't want to drastically do things that's going to make me lose muscle i need that to be a thick snicker okay so i just hate how social media is programming people and hating on people for trying to be healthy and to do better and to showcase that it's like dang those people who appreciate the video don't even comment as much as the people who just want to tell you what to do or saying you're doing something wrong or speaking negative about what you're doing at least i'm doing it if i eat two salads three salads a week at least i'm doing that and that is a little annoying to see the rude comments because at least i'm trying praise people for getting closer to their personal goals over your own but outside of that today is a cleanup slash workout be productive type of day it is gloomy outside but i love that for me <laughs> i love that for me so I am gonna be working out, but right now it is cleaning. I had a whole plan to go on the trail and all this and that, which I still might do. But your girl's getting hungry, juice. Then I'll probably end up going skating. Well, so much for that. I was just getting ready. It's 12.38 and it is, it is pouring. I don't know if you can tell. I guess. I will be continuing to clean until I go to the gym, I guess. Hey, I don't know why all of a sudden I, I started feeling down. that came out of nowhere. Let me 
I'm gonna wipe my face now. I don't know why. I just got so emotional out of nowhere. My face is not even that dirty. That's the crazy part. I look like a sweaty hot mess. But I'm sitting here. Today's obviously in the day. I'm cleaning up the house. That's why stuff look all over the place in the back. But I'm cleaning up the house. I'm deep cleaning. And I'm watching this television show, which is Fit the Fat the Fit. If you don't know, it's basically a t uh, TV show. I think it's like from, it's old, but I remember it from all the times that I ever tried to lose weight and I always used to watch the show, not always, but I would watch the show as a motivator to want to get in shape. And essentially the TV show is about personal trainers gaining weight to match the weight of their clients so that they can understand how hard it is to get in shape and lose it with their client and allow their client to see them do that as a motivator to lose the weight because they're losing it together. And in some way it gives the trainer a newfound understanding of what the client's going through. So I love this because I'm trying to train my brain to digest anything that pertains to my goal. And right now it's getting in shape. I guess the reason why I am emotional because I'm watching. I feel stupid. I feel so stupid. I feel stupid because on one end, I'm nowhere near as heavy as a lot of these people who are struggling. So in that sense, some people, even you guys probably could be looking at me like, you're not even that big, why are you crying? But I relate and I understand and I empathize with a lot of these people who are 250 plus pounds because a lot of times I feel the same way about myself. But I'm frustrated and I'm upset because in some ways, in a bit factor of the ways, I can't relate to. And that is a lot of these people saying like, oh, I just eat all this stuff or I just eat sweet. I don't take care of my body. I don't work out. And it's like, well, how did I get here? I know what the start of it is and I can explain that in a minute, but that doesn't explain to me why I put on weight, why I'm not in shape, because I don't eat bad. I don't eat junk. I mess up a sore throat. My day-to-day -day life, I don't do that. I should eat pretty clean, not clean, but good for the most part. Honestly, I stay under the deficit. Right now, what I'm doing is drastic to try to make change. I eat two to three meals a day on 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 a regular, most of the time too, honestly. Then I have my coffee, and that's it. The things that I eat is typically vegetables, fish, sometimes pasta, every couple of weeks. I just started eating rice. Like, I never eaten rice as much. The things that I'm eating now, I would love to eat. If I knew about them, I would eat them because I love vegetables, I love fish. I don't even eat chicken like that. This is the most chicken I ever had. It's been a month since I drank. I had a shot last night, two shots actually. I just don't understand because I can't really. There's several times where I've gone to the gym four or five times a week. I don't know, I just wanna be satisfied, you know? I wanna be happy with what I see. And it's embarrassing because Again, I know I'm not overweight. I know there's people that know me that's gonna see this. I honestly wish they don't, but I'm pushing myself because I want people to not feel sorry for me, but to relate to me, to understand, you know, to feel seen, to feel like I'm their sister, I'm their friend, and we got this, you know? But it's an emotional roller coaster. One of the episodes, one of the guys talk about 
the trainer, he gained in weight, and he said the biggest thing that I didn't expect was the psychological warfare I go through just from being overweight. And it is, it is to hate what you see, but to feel like your health in my situation, I know that's a big part of it. My health is a battle and how I go about things is gonna have to be different. That's why I'm trying to be intentional. I have a doctor's appointment. I have missed it the first time, but I have it on Thursday and I need to make it because I need to make a step further than I ever had before to understand what I can do to get to my goals. Two, one thing I am hopeful and optimistic that it will be a change because two, I'm gonna pair that with weights. I have never put weights into my regimen. I also haven't done trails and skating and these things like that. So I'm hoping and optimistic that that helps. So embarrassing. I feel more embarrassed about talking about this than anything I talked about being postpartum. And any times I cried about postpartum anxiety, I feel way more embarrassed and more vulnerable about this because it feels like people who don't get it is going to think you're pathetic. What I have to say to that is kiss my ass. To be quite frank, kiss my whole ass because you're not me. And if you care about me and if you wanna see me succeed, whether you're family or a new person, I'm taking action to the things that bothers me and that should be celebrated. And I don't need someone to celebrate that for me because I celebrate that on my own. But to feel like someone else who gets it, like what they love to say, the girls who get it, get it. <laughs> and the ones that don't, don't. The ones that don't, this ain't even for you and I don't even know why you're here. To be quite frank, I don't even know why you're here. But if you do get it, I'm here for that. I'm here for you. I guess I wanna talk a little bit about how this happened. I so wish I would've put on makeup for this because <laughs> this is wild. It's so crazy now that I, I, it's just hit me like a revelation now. Between the two pictures I'm gonna put up here, one, I think I was like 20, and the other, I was like 24. It's crazy to know that I was insecure about my body when I was these sizes. I always got called masculine, G.I. Jane. And this is when I gained weight, by the way. I was muscular than this. Muscle bound, slim gym. Those was when I slowly started putting on weight. But I was so insecure because people will always talk about how muscular and masculine my body looked. In hindsight, it definitely wasn't. But that was the topic of this discussion. And it got to the point to where I didn't realize it then, but I would always wear jackets every single day so people couldn't see my body. I had not much of a shape, but I had a nice stomach. But I was very insecure about it. Fast forward to like 2011, I started working at this ice cream shop. If you see this, my manager, I'm not gonna put a name out there. This is no dig or anything to you. But during this time, I was working very closely with my manager. I was a shift manager. I was in transition in my life. I moved into a new place, me and David together at this time. New relationship at this point. I started college, getting my first bank account, this whole nine. And I was just so busy, so busy to where every single day, me and my manager would order huge lunches. I wasn't active because I would literally go from work to school, stay up all night, study, go do it again. And that was about a year's time. That's crazy that it only takes a year to change up. <laughs> anyway, that was all the time. Every single day we were going out to eat. Every day. I just want to make sure that I say this. I didn't keep on the weight that I gained from eating every day here at work but I feel like because the weight that I gained from the shop was the biggest I have ever gained. Although I did lose it after, it was the start of my body accepting weight differently than it has ever did before. Really, the weight that I gained after that over time was relationship weight and my body accepted it differently because of health. It was just fun 
it was simple the first time I was making like decent money at a job and I hated my body anyway I wasn't happy with where I looked I wasn't happy being also a 21 22 23 year old looking 16. I did not like that at all when it, all my friends are looking like a woman you know in hindsight I was still a baby but I did not like that I wasn't concerned about my body my health because my health and my body has always been on point I always been strong I always been athletic I was a dancer my dancing life has caused me to be in shape and I don't know but in that time of doing that and not giving myself time to work into my passion basically having to grow up and be an adult and find my own way changed me into this I'm used to being able to not be concerned about anything that I wear I just want to be happy with that you know and get this behind me and the crazy part is I can see it. Like I know one day I'm gonna look back at these videos and be like, wow, that was me. That was how I was feeling. I was going through it, but I'm fine now. I'm in shape. I can see me looking at this as a far distance cry. So it's like, I gotta continue to take it serious because I always wanted to be the young lucky mom, the in shape mom, the picking up my kids from school and then be like, oh, that's your mom, that's your mom. Not like, oh, that's your mom. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't want to age myself unnecessary. I know a lot of times I like do stuff based off of me looking young. Right now, bitch, I look old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to love on me a little harder. I didn't even expect to get emotional. People who don't battle with weight gain or just being unhappy with your body. You don't even have to be big to be unhappy with your body. Because honestly, I don't think I'm big. I just know that I'm out of shape. I'm happy with being a thickums, but I want to be thickums in the right places and not necessarily my ass. I just don't want to have big arms. I don't want to see my neck and feel like yeah, that's not cute. I don't want to see my stomach and be asked, how far along am I? Which is rude as hell. Y'all need to stop doing that. The other day, and I'm gonna end on this note. Sorry, my camera ended up dying. But the other day, I ended up getting this response. I know this guy from the internet, you know, randomly talked to him on and off for maybe about the past eight months. Nothing like that, y'all. He randomly hasn't seen me but i recently posted some photos from the bachelorette party and this is also me embracing my body as it is and as it's in, in transition so i decided to post some photos of myself that you could see my body more and i got offended because the guy who was supposed to be someone cool or cool associate says hey you got thicker Um, that already put me in a bad mood because as a person who is known for being smaller and getting bigger and all the years of commentary people would say in person to me about my weight first of all people stop doing that whoever gained weight know the fuck that they gained weight they don't need someone announcing oh basically you got fat that's rude i would never do that even in my small state i would i would not do that because i don't know how people feel about themselves but that could be just the cancer of me knowing better of understanding my feelings a little bit more but anyway he goes you you got thicker so i decided to say something about it i hit him up and i go what you meant by that that's the first thing you said to me so what do you mean he's like oh no it's all good you know i love it when chicks are a little thicker and this and that it's like what do you mean i said you didn't even start a conversation with me and the first thing he says i got thicker lo and behold to him i'm pretty much the same if not smaller than i was before no i'm lying i'm lying i'm not small <laughs> but i just never showcase like that often what i look like Especially if you don't watch my videos, you don't know what I make physically look like. He was like, oh no, nah, you know, I ain't mean it like that. He kept trying to change the subject. And I was like, you're, you're trying to change the subject, but I'm trying to understand what did you mean? Because were you trying to make me feel good? I don't, I don't know. He kept trying to change the subject and not re react to it. 
So I said, all right, and I just kind of dead the conversation. Like, I just said, okay, I'll be back. Left the situation. Then he sends me a DM saying, oh, why'd you leave? I never responded. You can call it sensitive, but I call it toxic, right? You can see that I'm already bothered by what you said. I feel like people don't like to hold people accountable for their own actions. You can't say stuff to people and expect them to react okay, because was your intentions to make me feel good about me getting thicker? Like, people don't think before they speak. And that's what's the annoying part. I only want to surround my brain. If you see my other video, I only want to surround my brain and my thoughts with people who are on the support team, on the I'm a hyper up team. I only want that. Outside of that, I only want to see fitness, encouragement, recipes, lifestyle changes, um, fall, it is Halloween. <laughs> season it is fall season best to believe like I told you before this lifestyle change I am going to indulge when necessary when I want to I am not gonna miss out on holiday season I'm not gonna not eat during Thanksgiving stuff like that but they're cheat days and there's cheat days for a reason I, I never responded and I don't plan to because I have a goal and it's up to me to accomplish this goal. And if you're not for me, then I'm not for you. And if you don't and you can't do that, that's fine. Just stay over there. People who actually know me in my real life, this should be the blueprint. My YouTube videos should be the blueprint of how I feel, what I'm going through. You already know. Because on YouTube, I pride myself on being myself. I don't even know why this conversation and this stuff is making me emotional. Because inside, I don't feel as emotional as it come out. But it's like, I'd rather it be more motivational. This is almost a letter to myself to not be here. Not me starting. Not on camera, bitch. <laughs> Y'all know I was overdue. <laughs> I only want to elevate myself. I have goals for myself. It's not just the physical. It's about my energy level. It's about my health level. It's about taking advantage of the time of the day. You know, it's to excel. I am my own cheerleader right now. I'm trying my hardest to believe in myself. I want people to believe in me. I want people to support me and to love on me even if it's at a distance. And if you can't give me the things that I need to succeed and be successful in my own goals, then just watch from afar. Because I know there's gonna be time that I look at this and don't even recognize this person. Even if it's not a lot of physical difference, it's a mental difference. And I need to get to a point to where I am secure and happy with myself and not what other people think I should be. And you should do the same. And I hope you do the same because it's all about the mental health. And if my body is making my mental health go down, well then I need to change my body to bring it up to the person who I know I am. Because I am a confident person. I am very assured of myself. I am very analytical. I, I am very extremely um, determined. I am talented. I am creative. I always persevere in anything that I do. And this is the only thing that I have not been able to match my determination to. It, that needs to change. So, I wanted to make this video. I thought this was gonna be a part of the vlog, but I'ma cut this out and to put it in its own video because I think there's people that need to see this. I wish the world was a lot more loving and supportive of people. I wish the negativity would just stop. I wish that people would think before they speak. I wish that people could just respect personal goals of other people's and respect people's life. But I know that's not going to happen. So the only thing I can do is pollute myself and my mind and my thoughts and my world with the stuff that I want to see in it. So, <sighs> girl. <laughs> I am done because I got to be productive. I got to continue cleaning my house. My family is gone right now. So I got to utilize the time. It's 3.20. It's probably time for me to have 
another juice or something. So I'm gonna go, go do that and continue to motivate myself and watch this show. If you haven't seen Fit the Fat the Fit, you should watch it if you're on that stuff. And also, I talked about it before, the Jaclyn Hill, her health journey situation. She made a docu-series, it's like seven parts or something like that. That is uh, pretty dope as well. And if you guys know people who currently, within the last couple years, is going through the same type journey or same type feelings, let me know, comment them down below. But I'm gonna get out of here. I said enough. I love you guys. See you guys in the next video.